Yes, hi. Um, this is Paul Iorio, Cashbox Magazine, trying to reach Bela. Uh, I tried room 815, and uh, I was unsuccessful there. Uh, uh, Cashbox. Uh, uh, it's a music... Uh, oh, oh, this is Paul Iorio. Uh, oh, hi, Bela. Uh, Pascal Humbert uh, told me to give you a call, and uh, perhaps I could get a few words with you. Is that possible? Okay. Thank you. Uh, you played Amnesty International, uh, the concert at Giant Stadium. Was that your first performance uh, since your uh, imprisonment? And what was that like? It must be a big change for you, you know, to be out of prison now, after all that yeah, time. It's a big change. Have you written a lot of, did you re write a lot of songs in prison? Did you? No, I was just like my brain in prison. Yeah. I left my brain black. Is that the way you coped with the... Yeah, with the way. How about, um, let's see, you were transferred to Kiri Kiri? Yeah. Was that, like they say, Nigeria's toughest prison? And was it tough on you at the time? It's one of the toughest prisons, but it was not tough for me. I mean, it was, I lived through it. Is uh, stronger because of this experience in terms of. I'm sorry. Much more stronger. Right. How about uh, there was a period when you were in the hospital, and then they transferred you over to Mad Madaguri Prison. At that point, nobody heard anything from you for about six weeks. What uh, what happened to you? What did they do? They just took me to a far distance prison. Right, the heavy desert. Strong by the brain. And this button is very, very uncomfortable. Very far away from everybody. This is what I allowed. Which one do you think is really responsible for the situation? The 
oppressiveness of, of the country. Yeah. In, in, in the military. The military are responsible. The police work for the military. Now you see, the, the police and the military and everybody, they are called the armed forces. You understand? That's right. Uh, the police, military, everybody, uh, maybe half out there. They are called the armed forces. So the armed forces are ruling Nigeria, all of them, police, soldiers, everyone. You understand? Yes. Yeah. So I know, although the military is the, is the dominant power there, but police, they are all involved in this. They are all involved in the country's atrocities. Would you ever consider getting involved in Nigerian politics and actually uh, perhaps? Yeah, definitely. And uh, you mentioned at the press conference that some of the military people actually have your records. They like your records. Well, what's like nobody in Nigeria doesn't like my left country. It's just that uh, corruption and uh, corruption and all this shit made this string of public money is just a uh, <coughs> judge who actually sentenced you and, knew, and later they found out that he was you know, pressured. What happened to him, to that judge? Uh, 